Hello everyone, it's Matt Maker here with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to take your Minecraft world slash maps from your Xbox and put them on your computer as well as taking maps that you might have downloaded from the computer and putting them onto your Xbox and being able to play them. So first of all you're going to want a USB flash drive to do this and once you have that plugged in and uh, all set up for Xbox, go to your storage go to your flash drive and uh, you're going to want to make sure all you have is Minecraft uh, for some reason for me my resurrection map pack would not move out of the um, flash drive so unfortunately I just have to deal with that, I don't know about you but you should only have Minecraft and you're going to have all your worlds here, these are pretty much just for example, I don't use any of those and nothing else is here except for this, what you have to have um, and once you transfer your stuff over so if you really wanted to move all your stuff other than Minecraft you just press Y press hard drive and then you choose you know you check everything but Minecraft but I'm not gonna do that so cancel and once you have that ready to go you're gonna move over to the computer and unplug it from the Xbox and uh, so I'll meet you guys over at the computer and okay guys so here we are on the computer and you're gonna need this program right here there will be a link for the download in the description it is called USB X staff and you need this in order to actually view the files on your flash drive the Xbox files um, so once you have it you open it just hit run um, and you'll get into here so from here you're gonna go file uh, open USB manually and you're gonna go find uh, your USB here so I have to enter mine so what you do is see you have these listed under here plug in your USB so I'm gonna plug mine in and it'll show up and you just select that it's simple so see now it's there select that hit OK let's just ignore that okay so now you get these two things, cache parti partition and data partition. So you're going to go into data, content, open that up. And normally, if you have all your things on here, there will be so many of these going all the way down. That's why you want to transfer all your stuff. Because now you just want to check what's in what. So these are the Minecraft saves. It's this first one. You have to kind of look. I don't, this is probably the Black Ops 2 stuff or just Minecraft, the game itself. <laughs> So these are the saves. If you wanted to uh, save it to your computer as a backup, you could just, let's see, just drag it out. And it made a copy, as you can see on your computer. You can do that with all of them. And uh, say you went and you downloaded a map, and you had it on your desktop. So let's just pretend I just downloaded this map right here. You would take wherever it is, wh wherever you saved it, you put it on your desktop or whatever, and you just drag it in. File exists already. Well, it wouldn't say that because you already, uh, you don't have it. I mean, like, it it would be a different map. So that file already exists. And from there, you would just, uh, let's see. I believe. No, I think you're good. Once you put that in, you're good. Um, I'm thinking of using this, which is different. I'll probably have a different tutorial that's like how to hack your minecraft or whatever you want to do so that's basically how you do it that's how you save or back up your worlds to your computer and how to get worlds into your game so i'm actually gonna have in the next couple of videos some uh... maps that my friend and i did uh... involving skyblock to help you guys out uh... and you know it's just it's a, something cool so we'll have uh, a video on how to install that and uh, you know, it, it'll be out soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any uh, questions, write a comment. Please, no hating, and actually listen to the video because I've had quite a few uh, people from past videos. I'm not going to go into specifics, but I get a lot of questions on things that are answered in the video. So you just have to pay attention. It's not that complicated. But if you do need help with anything, and if whatever uh just comment or message and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can so uh thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys next